Hi, I'm Grace Shea Alag. I'm a pediatrician and an allergist. My residency training is in pediatrics and then I subspecialized in allergy. G6PD is uh, the most common enzyme deficiency worldwide. It is an inherited disorder, meaning when the baby is born, so they already have deficiency in the enzyme. The glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase helps protect our body from harmful effects of the oxidative substances. This is especially important in the red blood cells of our body. So if there's very little or deficient enzyme, the red blood cells are is easily destroyed. Because um, we do newborn screening to all newborns upon birth, we already know if the baby has G6PD deficiency. So after this, we do confirmatory tests. Then the mother will be informed of what to avoid for G6PD babies or children. Actually, when we receive the result of the newborn screening, we already advise them that it's okay, we just have to avoid this, avoid that, because the babies with G6PD still appears and remains healthy only if and when they are exposed to oxidative substances that they manifest these uh, symptoms. So only if they are exposed to large amounts of these substances. Otherwise, they appear healthy. So drugs include trimoxazole, so sulfa drugs, and then for the food, um, it includes blueberries, soya, uh, fava beans, also legumes, and other chemicals such as topical menthol, and damphor, uh, also methylated mouthwash. So these are also included. So the complete list can be downloaded in the internet or these are given to the moms. Yeah. For uh, hemolytic crisis, so um, there could be difficulty of breathing, rapid and um, Strong heartbeat, uh, pallor, uh, yellowish color of the skin or jaundice, tea colored urine, abdominal pain, and back pains. During infection, uh, they produce oxidative substances. This results in probable cause of the hemolytic crisis. Since it's an inherited disorder, so you cannot outgrow it, but it's more if you prevent the exposure. Uh, to these oxidative substances so that you won't experience the hemolytic anemia or the hemolytic crisis wherein you present with all the signs and symptoms. So when the child grows up, the mom should inform them of the illness so that they will be aware on what to eat, what to avoid. There's no maintenance actually. So regular checkup as a normal healthy child. So that's already okay. And in cases of uh, hemolytic anemia, so what we can do is, aside from supportive management, so we can also give blood transfusions, oxygen, and folic acid. So otherwise, it's just the same follow-ups, regular checkups with your pediatrician. Uh, no, because uh, G6PD actually is an inherited disease, so um, it is X-linked, meaning the G6PD gene is found in the X chromosome. Uh, in boys, they have an X and Y chromosome. In, the, in girls, they have two X chromosomes. So for baby girls to have G6PD, both the um, X chromosome should be G6PD defective or the gene should be defective. But for boys, um, if the gene is already defective, they automatic, automatically have that G6PD deficiency. But during pregnancy, you really don't know who has the, yeah, the G6PD deficiency. For moms and for the kids, uh, they should first inform the pediatrician or their doctors um, that they have G6PD so that prescription of um, oxidative drugs could be avoided and so that their doctors can watch out for signs and symptoms of hemolytic anemia. Then they should have their list always available so that they should read the labels on their food, drinks, as well as all the substances they apply or they take in so that they could compare it with the list and avoid exposure to those substances. They should not ignore infection because, as mentioned, infection can also cause our body to produce oxidative substances. 
and uh, know their signs and symptoms of hemolytic anemia or hemolytic crisis so that um, they can seek consult at once.